Girls, well done. A fantastic performance here at Ainsley Park. Rachel, I'll come to you first. You said you weren't happy with your performance last week. Uh, certainly made up, made up for it today with a hat-trick. Yeah, um, I knew that I had to put on a performance today, um, but rightly so, the whole team did. It was a fantastic team performance and it's one that we're proud of, so we'll move on to next week. Two goals for yourself as well, Shannon. Uh, how delighted were you to get back in the score sheet? Yeah, it was amazing to be back in the goals. <laughs> score sheet, sorry. Um, it was a great performance for the full team today, so it's a good win. And for yourself as well, Jamie Lee, uh, over in a good performance, but ran it off with a goal. Um, how did it feel when it shot the back of the net? Yeah, I mean, I had a few chances in the game and it never went my way, but I just kept going and my teammates were really supportive and like I knew a goal was coming, so I just kept going. This is a side that went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Glasgow City last week, Rachel, and uh, today I don't know, didn't really seem at the races. Were you almost surprised in the manner they came into this game? No, I think they did exactly what we're expecting of them. They like to get on the ball on the edge of their box and we knew that, so we had a high press on and I think we nailed it. Uh, everybody was on it from the first minute and it showed today because we scored some great team goals. Um, in the build-up this game, Grant was saying that the 6-0 the win uh, just at the end before the, the summer break maybe wasn't was quite harsh on Rangers. With all respect to Rangers for this game, do you feel the result um, kind of was significant and um, apparent in the performance of Hibs today? Yeah, I think the result justified the game. Um, we controlled the game really well. I don't think Rangers were in our half much. We played really good football and scored some really good goals, so we're all happy with our performance. Focus, of course, will be on Hibernian, but the result today does mean Glasgow City are denied uh, another title. They come here next week. How important will it, will it be to stop potentially them win another league title? Yeah, I mean, I believe they've got another chance midweek um, before they come to see us. So, yeah, we just do everything we can. All we can do is win as many points leading up to the end of the season as we can. We know that we've we've got a huge task and we're relying on them dropping points and it's something that they're, they don't do regularly. So we just need to focus on ourselves leading up to the end of the season and going into that cup final. So, Grant, back to league action this weekend and another impressive victory for your side today. How happy are you with your team's performance? Yeah, really, really pleased this week. Um, you know, that's a, a, a strong Rangers team we've just um, taken out today. So, um, most importantly, I think, and mo most impressively, I think, from the girls was, um, you know, we had a wee game plan. We watched them last week in their cup semi. Um, had a, a look at some bits and pieces and put some ideas to the players and um, they've virtually taken it to the letter. Um, and, and caught Rangers out a few, team, a few times today, so I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with the girls and, and obviously delighted with the result. You just touched on their semi-final against Glasgow City there. Uh, were you perhaps a bit surprised that uh, Rangers came out the way they did today, considering they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with City for a large portion of their game last week? Um, I guess and no. I, I mean, I think obviously their ambition is to, to, to get to that level, <clears throat> and I think the only way to do that is to, to try and match up. Um, you know, probably do the same in my shoes uh, if I was at that kind of team. To um, you got to gauge where you are. Um, so no, I mean I, th I thought um, they had a game plan very similar to last weekend, um, and we'd cottoned on to that quite quick in the game. So um, no, I never really saw any surprises if I'm honest. Uh, just looking back to last week, Rachel Boyle said she wasn't very happy with her performance in last week's game. Do you think she made up for it today with her hat trick? Well, I think she'll tell you that she did for sure. Um, I, I thought in general today the midfield girls were excellent. Um, you know, they really, to be fair, the 11 players were excellent today, but um, I, I think the, the midfield three um, really set the tone for us. Um, and, and Rachel was in, you know, she's pivotal and all of that. But she read situations that we discussed midweek um, and, and it allowed her teammates to get in behind her and, and, and really smother Rangers when they tried to play so um, I, I thought she was excellent today but uh, along with many others. And just looking ahead to next week you welcome Glasgow City here at Ainsley Park who today you actually denied them winning their 13th consecutive league title. Uh, it's a massive game, uh, how are you going to look forward to that and prepare for that? Yeah well we always look forward to games against City, um, you know it's a strange thing to say potentially you know, two two rivals going head to head, but um, you know they we, we respect them a lot, um, and for everything they've achieved and the team that they are, um, and the way they try and play football. So it's always a, a, a difficult contest for sure, um, but we look forward to the games. It's it's an enjoyable football match, normally. So yeah, we're we're looking forward to it.